Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a fun little project um, and it's a spinner, so I'll show you how it works. So what it is, is we're going to do all these fun patterns on this circle and then when we wind it up and spin it, we'll get cool patterns with the different colors that we put next to each other. Um, so it's really fun to be able to change. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, and you can really play with the colors and how they interact with each other. So let's go. All right, so for this project, you guys are going to need white paper, cardboard, markers or anything to color with, glue, a pencil, any kind of string that you have around, scissors, and you need something that can poke a hole through cardboard. So this is a knitting needle, um, so that'll work. So anything that you can poke through, and you might want to ask your parents for this part um, just to be safe. And then you'll also need a round object that you can trace a circle around. It can be any size. So what I'm going to do... I've already cut out my shapes, so I have one circle of cardboard and two circles of paper. So what I did was I took my round object and I put it down on the paper and the cardboard, traced around it with a pencil, and then cut it out. So that's all you guys need to do for that. So you will have, when you're done with that, you'll have one round piece of cardboard and two round pieces of paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to design my circle. So when this thing is spinning, all the colors and patterns I do are going to mix together on here and so it's going to look really interesting with how they interact with each other. So you guys can play with that and think about what colors you want next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and color this a while. So I colored this one like this, so remember just do one side of each paper. So I did this one, now I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Alright, so now I have both of my sheets colored, so I did different things to see what would happen, and I have my cardboard circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue both of these pieces to either side of the circle. Alright, so this is the point where you are going to go find an adult to help you with this next part. So go find an adult to help you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sharp object, object, I have a knitting needle, you can use scissors, just anything that'll poke through. And I'm going to make two holes right next to each other, right in the middle. Okay, so I have two holes right through the center. So now I'm going to take my string and I'm going to do it about arm's length. So when I stretch out like that, that's about enough. Alright, so now I have my string, um, and what I'm going to do to make it easier to go through, I'm actually going to take some tape, and I'm going to wind it around um, the end so that it doesn't fray and it, it'll go in easier. Okay, so now that I have tape on either side, I'm going to go through my holes. So I'm going to go for, through the first one, and then I'm going to go through the next one. And sometimes the holes are not big enough, so you can go back through and widen it up a little bit. There we go. So, 
Now I have this little loop right there and I have the long end, so I'm just gonna make that even. I'm gonna pull on the shorter one, holding on to the loop to make them even. Then I'm gonna pull it the rest of the way through so that I have even strings right here. Then I'm going to wind up my strings. When I hold it straight, that's where I get the cool designs. So there you go, have fun.